Hello and welcome to Yao Guai Gaming, where we are playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again. Last time we left off, we set ourselves up our new camp. This time we've got some people in camp to talk to, so let's go see what Dutch wants. Let's get our quest for today. Let's get our mission. I'm excited to see what the group does with their new little home. I don't think this is our permanent home. I think we're going to move again at some point. Hey, Uncle, how you doing? But yeah, it's been a while since I played, so... <laughs> I gotta re-remember all the controls and whatnot. Like, don't scroll up. Scrolling up does something. Oh. Here's Dutch. Let's go speak to Dutch. All right. Well, I hate that it won't let us run in the camp. It makes moving through camp an absolute pain. How you doing, old friend? Fine. <laughs> it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of Is he getting more and more of a god complex as we go through? We got like, day. It's nice out. At least Arthur seems to know who he Although is, what he is. There's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Oh god, we're off for another fishing trip. Yeah, Dutch just does not seem to want to accept who and what he is in this world. He seems to want to, uh... Seems to want to believe he's part of a higher calling, almost. That he hey, isn't a criminal. Girl, he's some on, sort of man, revolutionary. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along over Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing in the bubble for Come on. Get on a horse. Let's go fish. Yeah, let's go right, fish. Let me show you how it's done. I'm coming through. Okay, go. Right, go, right. Do something with some urgency, people. No? Okay. I'm too impatient for stuff like Why don't this. We just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. A curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe mm. again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Like, Might even do your whistling I don't know if I'm reading good, into Jose. two things too much, well, but in this country with Bessie. I don't know the way ah, Dutch is trying like to sing off his praise. It just it feels manipulative. A time ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. Yeah, uh, also, listen to him layering it on. Now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. And here we come to the Make purpose of his, of his compliments. Nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. I mean, no drunk After fights, Valentine, Arthur. time, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. Let's just ask the gang not to use weapons or cause trouble in roads. We've okay. Gotta be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure than no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Hmm. Let's see if something goes terribly wrong. Are we gonna recognize someone in this uh in this cart, maybe? That wouldn't surprise me. Well, or if someone in the cart recognizes us. Hello. 
gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet, oh, it's Trelawney. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur. Right, so we. Wanted, man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Right, Perhaps so we, we round up these the uh, criminals, and that Stay helps the that sheriff. Train. Don't let them but get away. Here. All Keep right. your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All Bro, right. I'm doing Come my best. It's a pony. Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Pony's trying. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said <laughs> plenty. Arthur's desperate desire to fix problems with his pistol. <laughs> oh. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. As See if to you what? can get alongside the train. Oh god, are we jumping? Alright. Come on, you must be able to get next to it. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. All right, you think all you right, can jump right. on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Two more. Two down, two to go. We're not allowed to use our gun. Are we allowed to use our lasso? Climb up here. Let's see if we can try the lasso. Oh no, this is gonna get in a fight. Throw away. Get the hell away from me. Uh, no, my heart. Why is it always my heart? Dude. Forgot the buttons to punch people. There we go. Let me retrieve my hat first, sir. Right. We got some. Uh... I try and open my inventory while sprinting. to kill him, the knife-wielding fucking lunatic. Bother about how dirty he is. I'm more bothered about the fact he's got a knife and he's doing a really good job of slicing me up. There we go, yep. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> fucking marvelous. Dead. Yes, I, I understand. I'm sorry. Uh, retry checkpoint. Oh. Uh...
Why can't I lasso him or shoot the gun out of his hand or draw my own fucking knife? Let's eat something first. Yes. Magic health tonic. Come here, you bastard. It's just us then, law man. Come here. We need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that. All right, let's go. I got health this time. Come on. Are you sure? Can he block? Like, I know him usually... I don't think he can block because he's got the knife. The knife stops him being able to block. There we go. We can just punch him. There we go. And refuse the hat. Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. How do I get out? Oh, I need to pick him up. All right. Bring him out here. This should definitely endear hey. us to the local law. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? No, it's the I other man. I hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? We take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. Is that him? A pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Mmm, <clears throat> stopping the train did a lot of good. There you go. You are a natural. <clears throat> All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No. Are we being not recruited? Really. On your right here, these tobacco fields. This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Huh. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best. Oh, of course, but they so the sheriff the is part of this big family. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Who are the Braithwaites? Another big family okay. in these parts. They have an estate an west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got <laughs> So we got the stereotypical two important powerful groups here. who dislike each other in this area. I wonder if, oh, I mean, I assume we're going to get pulled into the... Uh, Political struggle between those two families. And the sheriff is part of the Gray's family. Whoa. This is Here quite pretty. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Of course. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Are they also all owned by the Gray Grays? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? <laughs> this guy's dialogue does seem on, a little partner, stilted, I think. He wakes up. Oh, my horse. Casually. So we can show Sheriff Gray. Yeah, I understand. Hey, fellas. Won't be the last time. Mr. Gray. We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. 
I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you Penelope enough. Braithwaite. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. About the rebel I've gold. Heard about bounty. You know, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. Is there it? was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. I like Trelawney. He's got panache. Uh, our Arthur needs a shave. Okay. He is currently so lacking panache. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. All right, so we're well, to I'm investigate the uh, Grays while Hosea investigates. No, I don't. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. Jesus, Just ride him down, why don't you? Poor fellow with his mutton chops. Okay, so this is the new south. We've got ourselves a gunsmith that seems to be locked, a saloon that seems to be locked, a general store that's locked, stagecoach that's locked. <laughs> like, what is the purpose of this town if nothing's fucking open? Why is the gunsmith not open? Hello, mister. Hello there. Howdy. Oh, yeah. Hello, we can say hello to everyone, can't we? Hey there, mister. Hey there, mister. I love it. You just tell me you don't want to see any more trouble from me. Like, what trouble have I caused? You have any bounties for us? Hello, sir. Keep to yourself. All right, mate. Okay there, mister. Hmm. No, so there's no bounties. There's no shops that are opening. There's the gray woolen mill here. He's got a little donkey. Oh, it's got two little donkeys pulling a thing. We can study the donkey. On pending updated standard donkey. Look how tiny it is. I want one. I want a donkey now. Okay. Alright, let's go figure out what's going on with Gavin. Is it you who's looking for Gavin? <clears throat> Mister. Ah. Puppy? I'm looking for Gavin. He's my ah. best friend. This fella's looking for Gavin. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> hey, mister. Uh, listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, 
That's too bad. Okay. Gavin! Gavin! Where are you, Gavin? If we find Gavin, we'll tell you. Strange man. Okay. Right, so let's have a look. Where are we supposed to go? We're supposed to go back over to the Grey Plantation and have a gander at the Greys. Give, have a chat with them, see what the deal is. This promise of rebel gold is somewhat intriguing, isn't it? Whoa! What did I do? Madam! Gavin! <laughs> Love it. Hi there, mister. All right, we'll just say hello to some people to recover our hey, honor partner. from from doing something. I don't even know what we did. I never know what we did. Hey, yeah, gunshots. Oh, hello. doing here i was just passing through don't mean to intrude on your politics damn jackass you what one more thing fellas just a thought maybe next time take your head out of your ass and you might see the damn braithwaite before he hops over what the oh 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 uh shit I'm not allowed to shoot him. I can't shoot back. Oh, I'm not with the brake weights. I was just a bit rude. I'm sorry. Stop fucking shooting him. <laughs> I just told it. I was just a bit rude. The game won't let me shoot back. What bullshit is that? I don't care if Dutch has asked me not to use my gun. I should be allowed to fight back. I just lost thirty dollars. We got a new journal entry. What a fucking There is a helicopter going past my house. So I am really sorry if you can hear that. I don't know, like, where are we? I want to know what the journal entry was, but it doesn't seem like I'm going to find it. There's being 185 pages to skip through here. No, fuck that. Also, I can't read cursive very well. Okay. So we just count it as we lost our money and our hat. Wait, now it'll let me draw my gun. Okay, no, it, it lets me draw my gun when I'm out there, but not as soon as I come in here. I can't believe I've lost my hat again. Hey there. Hey there. Be nice to people. Need to do some hunting at some point soon and get some more uh, meat and stuff. annoyed about that you two absolute cockwombles what do you want boy hey look i've been helping the sheriff with some trouble wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here emmett lee all right have a word but i ain't got the time to help you obliged Okay. Ask around Caliga Hall to find out more about the Greys. Hmm. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's okay. got all the time in the world. To find this master bow. Do what he has to say. 
We're definitely after this gold, are we? Like, we're not trying to help or anything. We want the gold. Is this, like, the kid of the family or something? Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of uh, it's Romeo and Julia. strangely helpful Yankees. Your house is both alike and different. What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. <laughs> well, He's interested in the... Something. Don't worry, the girl from the other house, me. isn't it? secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, <laughs> I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, <laughs> I case. love this kid. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Kid, you're gonna get yourself killed, or you're gonna get her killed. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Oh, please, God, not another stealth section. I'm so bad at stealth in this game. But this is just Romeo and Juliet, isn't it? Um, I used to know the whole intro. I used to know the whole, like, the scene setting poem for uh, Romeo and Juliet. I can't remember it now. I can only remember, like, one or two lines from it now. It's the uh, um, two houses, both alike in dignity. Fair Verona, where we set our scene. Lovers' hands will make civil hands unclean. I can't remember it all. It's been a really long time since I was in a play, since I did any sort of theatre. Um, apologies for not remembering it. <laughs> I hope you know what I'm on about, though. It's a really cool introduction. It tells the, the whole story of the play. It's a really cool thing that they used to do in plays. So the, the intro... Sort of, I can't remember what it's called either. The introductory, introductory paragraph of the play Romeo and Juliet that's spoken by the narrator tells the whole story uh, of the play. It tells you how it will end before the play even starts. Um, and a cool thing they did is they would tell you how long it was going to be, but they would lie to the audience. So if the play was going to be like three, three, four hours long, they'd say that the play was going to be two hours. Because if you tell someone that the story is going to be four hours long, they'll get up and leave. And if you tell them it's only going to be two hours, they'll stay. And if they're having a good time, the time will pass and they won't notice it was longer. Thus ends my history of English and Shakespeare lesson for today. Let's see if we can sneak in here. I am so terrible at the being stealth in this mission, in this game. Have a quick look at our map if we can and see whereabouts it is exactly we're going. Is this the gazebo here? Oh, no, it's all the way down here. Oh, feck a doodle. If we sort of go around like this, we should be fine. Unless, you know, the guards turn around, which would be incredibly rude of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah look, they've, they've wiggled, they've turned around. Okay, so there's one there. We're gonna need to sneak past this one, I think. Shit, there's one there. Let's wait for him to get wherever he's going. Oh no. Hide in this bush. The bush will keep us safe. I 
I want to go, but I can't. As soon as those two turn around, I think we're fine. All right, one's turned. We need the other one to turn, and then can we get in between them? I bet we can't sprint. Oh, fuck it. Let's sprint. We can sprint. Run, 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 run. Same with this guy. Let's just sprint past him. One on our right. There we go. This is a fucking muggy afternoon. I'm sorry. Is that my horse? No. I was like, I saw his face. And I was like, why has my horse got here before I have? Penelope. I like how Penelope just isn't concerned that a strange dude with many guns is walking up to Are her. You Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. Hey, Anna. <coughs> a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or... Well, I don't know cave people perhaps Bo's different oh she's very but polite but if they find out they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio sir no well neither have I but my uncle has a factory there he was sort of <laughs> black awful sheep like on account of having Ohio lived. but now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob families are are there's something else. Hmm. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, Will you give this to him? Sure. I like Arthur. He doesn't want to be doing all this. But he's too nice to just say no. Leave the area without being seen. Is the quickest way to just go straight down here then? Just turn, follow the coast and sprint? I wonder if they see my horse. Like, I just whistled my horse and it's now following me. Do they care about a riderless horse just trotting through the, the land that they're guarding? I mean, I would imagine they don't. I think we're out. Yeah, we're basically out. So this is the quickest way of coming. And the horse is on its way. So that works. Is it me or did the time of day just change? The fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Found a... I can't fucking read this. And a crazy young woman, real strange looking, locked in a kind of outhouse hidden on the Braithwaite Manor. World ain't a kind place to folk like her. You can kinda see her through there. Two, four, seven, five, nine, one. one. So she's got. One, is that one, like a cleft lip? I I don't one, know if that's the two, correct term. Three, Sorry. Seven, six, yeah, she's clearly not well. Three, Jesus. Five, eleven, oh, and there's like a picture. There's a drawing of her on the map. That's fucking creepy. That. Right.
Let's see if we can get back to bow with this letter. Can't imagine much is going to stand in our way as long as we don't go into the uh, estate proper of the Braithwaite's. A little house up here. Should we go visit the little house? What's in the little house? Hey there! Little house. Right, let's get back to um, Bo. Let's see if he's like what response he's got when we give him the letter. Hey, mister. Oh, he's not happy that I said hello to him. <laughs> It's <laughs> just like, hi, it's like, you, no, fuck you. Yep. What is this? This is all like burnt down. This is the second sort of burnt town we've found in the game. Is this, do we think deliberate or? Like, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if in the rivalry between the Greys and the Braithwaites, someone... Wait a second, that's a cannon! So, I'm gonna say that this couple of buildings here, combined with this stuff, this was you. This was a Civil War battlefield site, then. Um, yeah, you got, like, little entrenchment positions and stuff. Little dugouts. Lots of like spiky wood bits. Get down to cover now. Defend what's ours, soldiers. Defend what's ours, soldiers. the Lemoy Raiders and their obsession with the South. Take a big last ah! 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 Senseless idiots. <sighs> what is this structure? I mean, this looks like a church to me. Yeah, abandoned church. Oh, cool. We get to draw it in our little sketchbook. Let's see Arthur's drawing. Arthur's drawing is pretty good. Or an old church. I found it interesting. Not sure why. I love Arthur's muse. His train of thought. We loot these fellas and see what we get from them. Get a bit of money. A few dollars. A few gold wedding rings to donate to the, uh, the camp funds and whatnot. Can we climb up this bit of the church? Yeah, we can. I wonder if we go all the way up to the top if there's something up there. And there's a box. You can rest. Can we jump? Yeah, we can jump to here, but... Doesn't look like there's anything up here, unfortunately. Hmm. That's a shame. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Not every interesting location needs loot. Let's finish looting these fellas, and then let's get back to Bo. I wonder if he's going to still be stood outside now that it's night time. I bet he's not, actually. I hear a pig somewhere nearby. I would very much like to shoot it to me. Alright, looting done. Confederates. Is it the Confed... Yeah, it's the, the Southerners. Are, Southerners were the Confederates, weren't they? Uh, Ex-Confederate soldiers dead. Yeah. Let's get back to finding Bo. Oh, for the love of God. Help me. Help me. Please. That help the snake bite fella. Again? <laughs> you won't believe it. I got bitten again. It's real deep. Suck it out of me, please. You're damn lucky I have this. 
Oh, can't believe I don't carry this with me. Oh. Is this going to keep happening until I suck the venom out? Why does it feel like that's where it wants it to go? Oh, you so much, mister. I can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. I don't know. It just seems weird. Is this like he's king? To go around and get people to suck his leg? Uh, that doesn't work, you know. Sucking on... I'm sure I said this the last time we saw him. Almost certainly, actually. But it doesn't, it doesn't work. If someone gets bitten by a snake and you're with them, don't try and suck the venom out, please. Call an ambulance. <laughs> right. Then again, you probably shouldn't take medical advice from a random dude on the internet who plays video games. So maybe do your own research. Don't listen to anything I say. In the stables? Yeah, there he is, tending to his little horse. Right, I got you. So I got you a return letter, Bo. You got my money. Sure. Did she give anything for me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. <sighs> yeah, you go, pony. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. <laughs> Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. So she's going to go to a woman's suffragette in the deep south right after the civil war. Yeah, I can I can see why he's concerned. Up, all right. and follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. Me a second, I'm brushing my horse. It's more important than your f***ing woman. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Come on then, Romeo, Romeo, where far art thou, Romeo? Ooh. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is. I can't let her become a martyr to it. Oh. I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Ladies. See how this goes. What are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Oh, I like Penelope. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob. We must begin. They need me alive. This <laughs> is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. All right, this is a really what, good question. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <laughs> This might actually right, be my ladies. favorite little quest line so far in Red Dead. This one. is brilliant. And we know our call, 
Charles, he's a pure one. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. I do wish I'd had time to grab my hat. Arthur without a hat looks wrong. Mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters, we cook the food and we fetch the water, singing songs of freedom and glory. Now, now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. Okay. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. We sing for suffering for Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm oh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. <laughs> I hope we won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I like the... I think he, he just feels so real. Like, I like that he's happy to do violence, but he would prefer not to. It's a peaceful assembly. Sorry, fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. <laughs> Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day. That is the first time I've heard like a cacophony of voices done well in a game. Is the day we begin to live as equal. Equal. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Hey, oh. His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. Ooh, look at his hand. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? <laughs> We're just going to beat the crap out of the cousin. Let's go. Quick now. We I don't want to mount my horse. I want to fight these guys. Fuck mounting my horse. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> Let the women speak. Aren't you a gray anymore? Huh? A land of I'm nobody. I'm just a visitor. Enjoying your hospitality. All right. Well, you be careful now, you hear? Oh, I shall. No, oh, I want to antagonize this guy. Oh, fight me, you fucking dick. <laughs> Come on. Come on! Bump! Quick, quick, this way! Oh, I keep smashing your cousin into walls. That's fun. Is he drunk? Oh, he's ragdolling! Is this doing like harm to him or not? It's it's making me laugh, so. <laughs> I'm playing bowling with the sexist. <laughs> Football. We can dribble him down the street. Oh no, I missed him. Come here. Come here. No, fall over again. It's funny. There we go. 
All right, let's keep, get on with the actual quest. I do wonder what the difference is between antagonizing him and like greeting him. Don't want to go back, and hear the speeches. I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here only 10 minutes. That's a good point. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right. Ah, uh, the said, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. <laughs> they started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money... When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. A good kid. I think I'm gonna enjoy this storyline. It is definitely a take on Romeo and Juliet. So far. But it's been quite a fun storyline. So far. Um, I imagine going and meeting Dutch will progress it somewhat more. We can't use guns in this area or this area, then. Um, yeah, we can't use guns in these two areas. We need to be careful. We can use guns out here. I suppose we couldn't get into the fight because Dutch says we're not allowed to have fights. The gunsmith is open now, which is nice. Yeah, everything is open now, and Dutch... Sheriff Gray asked you and Dutch to go back and see him sometime. So we're going to go meet with the sheriff and ingratiate ourselves more with the Gray family. But that will have to be next time. For this time, that is all we have time for for today. So thank you very much for watching. And from me and Arthur, goodbye.